Hey guys, James Reeves, TFB TV. I'm here at the NRA AM, the NRA annual meeting. I'm at the LWRC booth. Now we've got something very exciting that I've been waiting for for a long time. You guys know that me and a lot of the other guys at TFB are huge fans of pistol caliber carbines. And this one, again, I've been waiting for for a very long time to come out. And I'm we were very excited to see a lot of pre-show publicity about this gun. I'm I'm here with one of the engineers, Joe, and Joe's going to tell us about your brand new 45 SMG. Yep, uh, all right, so this is the SMG 45, that's what we're calling it. Um, it is a pistol caliber carbine. Um, it's a uh, delayed blowback 45. Um, it takes uh, UMP mags, it's got a lot of the familiar AR controls because that's what we're familiar with. Um, but uh, it's been a couple years in the making, we've been working on it. Uh, just as we can, and uh, finally we're, we're ready to, to put it out. Um, eight and a half inch barrel. Uh, again, it's it's an actual delayed blowback. It's not a just a heavy spring and a big uh, uh, breech block in there. So and I was going to ask, how do you guys accomplish that? What are you using? Um, short stroke piston? Or? We're, we, we've got the 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 breech and the the breech block and the barrel linked, um, mm -hmm. like you would on a, a handgun and slide almost. Oh sure. Um, and as it comes back, um, it, it decouples. Uh, it's about a quarter inch of travel, um, and it just slows the thing down. Just if, if, enough if, to well, lower this. Well, not, not yeah. even just enough. If you if you did it, if you use the same spring and weight setup that we have now, and you fired it without having the barrel and the breech block coupled, uh, we pretty much half the, the the travel speed of the um, the velocity of the the breech block. Backwards. Oh, cool. So it's much more controllable than it is, you know, without the linking. Um, so what does that amount to in terms of cyclical rate on full auto? Um, we're about 650 to 700 um, okay. RPM on it, which is pretty manageable. Um, oh, absolutely. It's it's, uh, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> put it yeah. That way. And then I see uh, you've got a threaded barrel. Is yes. that going to come standard yep. on all the yep. models? Um, they'll come threaded. Uh, we're shipping with thread protector. Um, it will it will run suppressed. It looks pretty good with the Osprey 45K mm -hmm. on there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I've, I've shot them extensively with and without and, and it runs pretty good so ambi charging handle right yep it actually um is reversible you just pop it out there's a little technique to that i make it look yeah yeah you made that look way is. too easy yep. and then it just pops on the other side and there you go there you go nice and then what else we have uh, in terms of what are we looking at for furniture what are you guys um, doing so these are this is our our hardware mounting solution if that's what we want to call it um it's the same thing that we use on our ic rifles uh, and our reapers we, we we offer the rail panels and the foregrip and the sling mounts and everything um no plans for mlock right now it uh it started development as this and we just carried it all the way through to there um there'd be a little bit of a profile change needed for MLOC, uh, just because of the dimensions and whatnot, and uh, we don't have that in the works at this time. So Our more sophisticated viewers right now are tearing their hair out because they're like, James, you haven't even asked about one of the coolest features of this gun, and that is the magazine. Tell everybody what you guys are doing for magazines and magazine compatibility with this. So we're using uh, the UMP mags, and uh, they are available in 45, obviously, because of this one. Um, but the same magwell you can do 40 and 9. Um, and the future plans are to be able to offer caliber conversion kits and, and, and different, you know, obviously different caliber uh, just guns. Um, so that's that's down the line. We're more focused on getting the, the 45 as it is out right now, but um, we, we chose that because of the flexibility um, and, and uh, you should see that play out in the future. Now, you mean you chose the magazine because of the flexibility or you chose 45 to we, start? Like everything that we, most every one of our products started life as a contract solicitation. Um, this one was no different. Uh, we had an opportunity, uh, and the, the 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 group that wanted it was asking for a 45. So we, you know, put this together, and that was around the time when we first teased it. You know, way back when. Um, it ended up not not panning out like it does with a lot of contract solicitations, but. Um, 
we were already in development and that is kind of the track we took with it. We started in 45 five years ago. We just kept going with 45. Sure. If we started it today, we probably would have started in nine, but um, as it is now, this is, this is what we've got. And it kind of sets it apart at this point. Yeah, and I gotta say, this is the only 45, I think, ever that I've been pumped about. So I'm really excited to, to see you guys come out with this. So when can I get it and how much is it gonna cost me? So MSRP is right up around three grand. Um, so it's uh, it's up there, but uh, we these are the first of the production run. Um, they'll, they'll be shipping by, the goal is before Q3 starts. So before the middle of the summer. So end of uh, May or, or into June. You guys heard it here, street price 500 bucks, going to be available next week. Yep. Joe, thanks a ton for having us. <laughs> no, no, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for having us in your booth. I'm glad you guys are here showing this awesome gun off at the NRA annual meeting. I know I'm going to get my copy. Oh, and is that a paddle mag release? It is. Just noticed that now. <laughs> Joe, thanks a ton. Hope you guys have a great show.